today we are looking deep into the abyss to find the white fidget spinner. Oh, there it is. We're about to go in. So we can get it. I feel it. Yes. Boom. My name is Emerson. There I am. And today I'm going to be creating a rainbow bookshelf. I got the idea to do this after I went to the dollar store. Shout out to Dollar Tree. I'm not sponsored. Um, and I bought this little nail polish display case thing that I want to display my little mini Tsum Tsum figurines on. And as I was trying to decide where in my room to put it, I thought... Let's put it on my bookshelf, let's put the Tsum Tsums in rainbow order, and then let's make an entire shelf in rainbow order. Let's add every queer book I own, which is only a couple, on the shelf, put my gay pride stuff on it, and it's going to be awesome. And guess what? It is awesome. It was really fun to make because I love putting things in, like, the correct order of hue. Um, it's pretty straightforward in color order, but I did add in some, like, lavendery, lilac-y, peachy, weird colors in the end, just so that I could fit in all of my queer books, which I will explain later on every single thing on the shelf, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it. I think I'm about to, you know, start saying the things on the shelf, so thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you in a couple of seconds. Bye! So now I'm going to give you a little tour of my rainbow shelf. First book we have back there is Get in Trouble by Kelly Lank. It's just a collection of short stories that are all super weird and super like sci-fi fantasy and just wow, incredible. <laughs> the next book after that is The Trespasser by Tana French, which I picked up at a little free library and have really no idea what it's about. Next, The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon, one I have yet to read. Um, and then above it, we have The Stolen Sharpie Revolution, the second edition. And then right above it, we have The Hudson Valley LGBTQ Center, which is from the Pride Parade I went to. Next to that is this candy cup that I made. Back to the books, we've got the orange books. We have... 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher, which I have read. I do actually have mixed feelings about it, but I like it enough to keep it. Next to that, we have Free Fall by William Golding, who wrote Lord of the Flies. Haven't read it yet, sounds pretty interesting. Next to that is Fortune's Pawn by um, Rachel Bach, an awesome, awesome sci-fi book. I need to get the next two books. Next we have Ruth Ozeki's The Tale for the Time Being, and then after that we have Barry Max's Lexicon. And in front we've got, of course, the pride flag that I got at the parade. Down here we have some very colorful My Little Ponies, including my favorite My Little Pony, Applejack. One is called Rosebud and the other one I cannot remember. And then we've got some little plushies, a little beanie boo from McDonald's. And next to him we have its founder from The Little Mermaid, Tsum Tsum. And next to him we have a little green apple, Shopkins, and back up to books now that we're caught up. We have some green books. We first got here Sisterland by Curtis Sittenfeld. Next we've got my autographed copy of the Darkest Part of the Woods by Holly Black. Never finished reading it. I am terrible. After that, we've got Margaret Atwood's Cat's Eye. Next, we have Sailor Twain, which is a graphic novel. Have not yet read it. Next, we have Lauren Hulse Anderson's Winter Girls, a really good one. I really like that one a lot. Find Me by Laura Vandenberg. Also really like this one, like five-star book. Loved it. Next, we have Outside Valentine by Eliza Ward. Started it and was kind of in a reading slump and never picked it back up again. The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Um, I like it. 
I don't know if that makes me a loser as heck, but I like it. Next, we have David Leviathan's Boy Meets Boy, and here's where I started to throw in some actual LGBTQ books, because I only have a couple, and they're all blue or purple, so there's that one. Next, we have Triangles by Ellen Hopkins. My Best Everything by Sarah Tomp. I literally bought this the day it came out because I had read, like, the beginning of it and just fell in love with it. Now, I don't really care to read it. Like, I kind of want to read it, but I kind of don't. Next, we have Shadow Falls, the beginning. So, it's, like, the first three books in the series, I believe, by C.C. Hunter. Still have to read it. Carol Goodman's Lithewood. Still have to read the other two books in the trilogy. It's a pretty decent one. Next, we have this beautiful book, and this is And Thriving, which is an awesome anthology. It's written entirely by trans or gender non-conforming people, and it's got mostly poetry and others, some other weird things. Let me show you. Boom. Your boy's in a book. Plus One by Elizabeth Fama. Still kind of want to read it. It's beautiful. That's the purple section, and then right in front we have some more purples, and I kind of pushed the colors into lavender so I could add these to right here. This literally doesn't really match at all, but it's kind of inconspicuous. This is a little pile of some queer books. This one is written by a non-binary person, and I believe it's about two queer girls. This one's Everything Everything by, uh, Wow, this is not everything, everything. This everything leads to you by Nina LaCour. Gay. Girls. And then this one is a single man by Christopher Isherwood. That's like my newest purchase. And I still have to read it. And then on top of it, we've got this little purple jar from the dollar store, which actually contains some important things like the elements. It was on my altar and I needed something purple, so I put it on. And then up here we have a little purple Care Bear. What is this one's name? Is it Share Bear, I think? I think that's Share Bear. Um, yeah, that's the rainbow shelf. Now every other shelf is jealous. So that is it for this video. I ended up losing the outro clip. So this is me doing the outro. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe got some inspiration for your own bookshelves. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!